Dear friend, I am happy to tell you again about this word that the Lord has given us for this year 2024. Jesus tells us, Remain in me, and I remain in you. What is remain in me, remain in Jesus? First, the day when you told Jesus, come in my heart. I want you as my Savior, as my Lord. From this day on, you have a relation, a personal relation with Jesus. And you can speak with him and he speaks to you. You can tell him all and he tells you all. Second, he tells us, stay in my love. The love that I got from my Father, I will give it to all who come to me. He wants to give you this love. And this love is pure. No fear. No envy, jealousy, no lying. This love has no limits. This love is bigger and greater and larger and higher and deeper as all we can imagine. Remain in this love. Remain also in my words in the promises that Jesus has given us. Study this word. Take this word in your heart. Keep it and let this word become the orientation of your life. Then this word becomes the rock of your life, the rock of your family, the rock of the education of your children. This word becomes the sword with which you can fight in the daily life against the problems, against the cares and the sicknesses. Then Jesus tells us, keep in my belief, in my faith, He tells us so often, have faith, believe in me. He has all power in heaven and in earth. For him nothing is impossible. My dear friend, what a happy life we can have when Jesus is with us. We can trust him in all what we live and experience. Then Jesus tells us, if you eat my body and drink my blood, you believe in me and I believe in you and you will have eternal life. What a wonderful present of heaven for us. Every time when we take the, the body of Christ, Jesus comes to us, remains in us, and we can go with assurance in our life. We can live with him. We are never alone. Never alone. Dear friend, there's another thing. Stay in the vocation that the Lord has given you. He has formed you 
He has chosen you. He has called you for a certain mission in this world. You are his ambassador in this world. You are the, the witness of his resurrection and he gives you all the talents you need to do this work, this mission. Dear friend, I know we can do it. We have so many problems to stay in Jesus. And then the other people tell us, oh, that is nothing. They give us words to follow the world. We want to follow Jesus. And so, dear friend, I pray for you. Lord, the strength from heaven to this friend, so that he can stay in you, that he can remain in you, and that nothing can separate him from you. Lord, help him, I pray you. Bless him. Bless also his family, his children. Bless him in his life to follow you. Lord, give now him your blessing. I stretch my hands to you. May God the Almighty bless you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, my friend. And we will hear another time from one another. Amen. <laughs>